Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day out. Anyways, I'm glad you're back. I got something new to show you. Special treat for you today. Another one of my meaningful reviews. Uh, today, we have this. All right, it's me again. I'm back out my uh, driveway, and I want to show you guys something. Um, it's meaningful for me, and it probably is meaningful for a lot of you as well. But my question is, did you notice how the uh, the flags are? They keep getting rolled up on the poles. <laughs> I said poles. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to stop that, and it's really annoying, and I'm out there like every other day with this long thing that I use to get spider webs in the ceilings with. I have these, supposed, these things that are supposed to go around with the, uh, you know, these are like little spinnaker things, like, like it would be on a sail, for those of you familiar with sailing. Um, yeah, but they don't seem to work very well. My wife suggested sewing a uh, weight into like the bottom corner so it sits down like you know heavy not you know five pounds like maybe eight ounces no maybe like four ounces or something maybe I'll melt some lead and make some weights to put in there but anyways if you, anybody has any better ideas and I hope you do you know where to put them thank you again you got to stop me with these tangents because I'll go on and on and on anyways let me get you some close-up of, of uh, Bob's stuff here So this is it close up. So this is it close up. Some tool that I have not used yet though admittedly I took it out of the box before I unveiled it here because I just you know I'm like a kid I can't wait but uh, yeah let me tell you a little bit about it and then you can watch me work with it anyways those are the oh these pallets right here were free I picked them off picked them up off uh, Facebook marketplace and actually since I don't like buying wood to build stuff I just I don't know it's just I do when I need it, but I, I just, for some reason, I don't like it. Not because I chain myself to trees or anything. It's just because I just don't like it. Getting back to uh, one of my uh, tenants in my art business, uh, the Metal Rabbit Arts, by the way, I'm on Instagram, is that uh, I want to use as many recyclable materials as I possibly can. Let me define recyclable. That just means any bit of metal that I can find anywhere that somebody was throwing out. I'm going to take it and recycle it to my own purposes. Because uh, buying new steel and stuff is expensive, kids. I don't know if you put up any steel buildings or did any metal sculpture work lately, but that shit ain't cheap. Anyways, oh, speaking of that, I got another video coming up. I, I'm going to this uh, steel supply store I go to. Really cool people there. And they let me pick through the remnants and stuff and give me a discount. Anyways, I'm going there. I'm going to pick up some. Uh, I'm going to pick up some four-inch square tubing, and probably maybe a, a couple of square feet of quarter-inch plate. And then I also want to pick up some uh, some 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 thinner plate, thin enough to where I could cut it with the plasma cutter, but not you know abnormally distort the metal beyond any you know. You know, easy repair like with a grinder or a sander or something because I got some really cool stuff I want to do with that thin stuff too and you'll, you'll see that coming up here pretty soon uh, speaking of coming up 
next video should be this one. And then after that, I'm going to till, I still haven't tilled my garden yet with the, with the tiller, but we'll get to that. Then after the tiller video will be my next, the next in the series on my furnace. The one, you know, hopefully you saw it before. If not, go see it. I'll put it, I'll drop a link in the description. <laughs> Everybody else says that. Cut me some slack. Okay, so anyways, getting back to old, getting back to our friend Bob. Because you don't want to look at my ugly mug talk. Okay, so the reason I got this thing was to reclaim wood. I need to build some things with wood that I don't want to buy new wood for. Like, for example, I'm going to build a, a stand for these two plastic barrels I want to build as a, a rain catchment system. And so I need wood for that. And so you're looking at the wood I'm going to use for that. Yeah, I know you're thinking, you're an idiot. No, sir, I got it all planned out. It should be pretty good. So anyways, that's what that's what this is for. It's got, you know, partial two by fours, but they're oak. I can I can certainly use them for bracing on my stand and I can nail like two or three of these. Uh, these look like uh, for the most part, one by fours, one by sixes, which is actually they're a half inch wide by how uh, probably 48 inches long, the standard pallet size. Four inches uh, of handle grip, you saw that. Doesn't look like an amazing handle, but. But, uh, hopefully I don't knock anything down over there and break it in this effort to have a cool shot, but Yeah, so uh, I guess I'll, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, I mean, looking at it, it's, it, you can kind of guess the uh, the size of it yourself and the head. That, that, these things are probably four or five inches long. And, you know, it's, well, let's, let's just try it out and see what happens. Let's give old Bob's pallet repurposing tool. I like that sound better. Give it the old uh, college try and see what happens. All right. No, it doesn't look like it takes a, it did not come with instructions, but it doesn't look like it takes a rocket scientist to figure this out. It appears either A, I'm an idiot, which is certainly possible, or B, it takes a little bit more finesse than I than I thought going into this. So, because looks like I kind of tore this one up pretty well. I don't want to do that anymore because I want to actually use this wood. So I have to be more careful. Let me give us some practice and I'll bring you back in a few. A few moments later. I know, you were all waiting on bended knee, but that lasted just a millisecond. For you, it lasted about 10 minutes for me. There's actually the right way to do this, and then there's the Keith way to do this. And I, if you ever get one, I suggest you do it the right way, which is like this. All right, it's gotta go in like this from the very bottom. That's why these things uh, move, because you'll see in, in a second why it won't destroy the nails that way.
just like a charm. Well, I'm not gonna regale you with any hilarious footage of me cleaning these things up and removing, harvesting all the wood. Because I'm sure that's even going to be more boring than the rest of this video was. At any rate, that's it. That's really all I have. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, please. Uh, there, there will be an affiliate link to this uh, tool here. As you can see, it does work when you use it properly. And it destroys pallets when you use it improperly. So use it properly. That's, that's it, kids. Bob's Industrial Supply. Check it out. I'll see you next time.